In this video, we are going to discuss about analog to digital converter and we'll discuss about why do we need this analog to digital conversion and after this understanding, we'll learn how can we convert this analog signal to the digital one means in the binary form and finally, we'll be having understanding about the actual implementation of this ADC. So just stay with me now to have in-depth understanding about this analog to digital converter. Let's understand first why do we need this analog to digital converter. So I'll explain this with very basic example. You must be knowing this potentiometer whose resistance value changes by rotating this knob. So when we rotate this, so actually the position of this wiper changes and hence it gives the different resistance value through this step. So if we calculate the voltage across it, it will be changing whenever we rotate the knob of this potentiometer. So just think about this potentiometer is connected to a steering of the vehicle. So whenever we rotate this steering, actually it will change this wiper position of this potentiometer and it will give different voltage drops for different position of steering. So the position of this steering we can easily get by knowing the voltage drop across this potentiometer. And normally this control has to go in some microcontroller and we know that a microcontroller always takes data in binary form, not in analog form. So for this kind of application, we need a converter which converts analog values to the digital ones in the binary form 0 and 1. I can give one more example here for the audio signal. As we know that the amplitude of the audio signal also fluctuates a lot. Just think an example when we are recording a song. So basically it takes our audio input and it converts to the binary form and saves in some audio files which we can play later. So here also a conversion of this analog signal is required to save the file in our PC or mobiles in the binary form or we can say in the digital form. So for these purposes analog to digital converter is required. And there are many more examples of uh, the requirement for this analog to digital conversion. I have just mentioned two here. Let me know if you know any other application of analog to digital converter. Okay, let's understand now how can we convert from analog signal to the digital signal. So let's have a basic understanding of it. So to know the different levels of analog signal, we need some samples and these samples we can further stored in the binary form to track this analog signal and these points where we are taking samples is known as sampled points and how well we are tracking this analog signal depends on how frequently we are taking the samples since here we are taking samples at very low frequency so if we draw a straight line so we will not be able to exactly track this analog signal so to track the analog signal in better way we must have sampled points at very high frequency. Here in the left side, you can see the sampling rate is low and with this approach, we can track the analog signal but not in very efficient manner. To track this in very efficient manner, we can use higher sampling rate or we can say the sampling frequency should be higher so that we can have more and more sample points. In right side, you can see there are so many sample points in compared with the left side with lower sampling rate. So now we understood that to track an analog signal in better way, we should have higher sampling rate. But one more thing comes here. If you see here, these steps are there and this can be achieved with quantization. To understand from the basic, just take an example of one bit resolution. So here either we can have logic 1 for 5 volt and logic 0 for 0 volt. And suppose we want to sample the analog signal at this point in between 2.5 volt to 5 volt. So for this we are having nearest quantization value 1 which is corresponding to 5 volt. So whenever we sample this point it will be treated as 5 volt or logic 1. So in this case we are having quantization error. Here also you can see when we try to sample this point in between 0 volt to 2.5 volt as it is near to the 0 volt it will be treated as logic 0. So this is a quantization error. Let's see the same thing when we use 
2 bit resolution so in 2 bit resolution what happens we are having more steps here how many steps we are having four steps the lower one is for 00, 0. the next one is for 0, 01 and then we have 10 and finally 11 for maximum voltage 5 volt so here we are having lesser quantization error corresponding to the previous case of one bit resolution where we had very high quantization error and if we further increase our resolution to 3 bit this quantization error will be further reduced and will be able to track this analog signal in far better way and as we are going to increase this resolution the quantization error will reduce more and more and will be able to track the analog signal in much better way so higher the resolution will provide lesser quantization error which will allow to track the analog signal in better way so if you compare it now 2 bit resolution with 3 bit resolution you can easily see here how better it's in case of 3 bit resolution and further if you see for 4 bit resolution it is much better way to track this analog signal so in this way by doing sampling at higher rate and having higher resolution we can track the analog signal in very efficient manner so now we are having a basic understanding of sampling and quantization and with these two process we can have different quantization value for the sample points so now only thing is pending here we need to convert this quantization values for the sampled points into the binary form so only this part is pending so as a process of conversion we can think of this analog signal first comes for the sampling and then quantization happens for this sampled points and after the quantization we have to do encoding for these quantized value this has to be further encoded in the form of 1 and 0 means in the form of binary now let's see the actual implementation of analog to digital conversion so to understand that we should have a basic understanding of encoder first here i have taken example of 4 is to 2 encoder so the role of this 4 is to 2 encoder is here it will take any of the input and give us as output in the form of binary means encoded value in this table you can see when we had d0 input in the first row it is 1 for this we are having encoded value 0 and 0 and in second row when we had input for d1 this encoder will give output as 0 and 1 and in third row when this encoder has output for d2 it has to give the encoded value as 1 and 0 for the input d2 and similarly for d3 it has to give output as 1 and 1 so in similar way when we increase the input count from 4 to 8 we need 8 is to 3 encoder and similarly it will give output with the encoded values for these 8 inputs when d0 is 1 it will give 0 0 0 and when it has d1 as input it will give 0 0 1 for d2 it will give 0 1 0 for d3 it will give 0 1 1 and so on and here the name priority is added and this shows that this d0 is having lowest priority and d7 is having highest priority that you can see in this table as well when d1 was 1 which is having higher priority than d0 so it doesn't depends on now for the input d0 this encoder will take d1 input and it will give the encoded value as 001 so that's why you can see here these are don't care whenever we are having higher priority inputs for d7 which is having highest priority the input of others can be ignored okay so now we are having understanding that if we have some quantized level as input this priority encoder will encode this and give us a output as binary to understand it better just take a example of 3 bit resolution so here we are having eight levels one two three four five 6, 7 and 8 and when we give these 8 levels as input to this priority encoder it will encode these levels and will give us in the form of binary that you can see here which can which we can derive with the help of this table as well to understand the whole concept i am taking the example of 2 bit resolution in 2 bit resolution 
we are expecting two output lines q0 and q1 and for this we need four input levels d0 d1 d2 and d3 which is the output of these comparators whose one end is connected with these resistors or we can say voltage dividers here the reference voltage is 4 volt which is giving the reference input for these comparators for u3 it will give 3 volt for u2 it will give 2 volt and for the comparator u1 it will give 1 volt as a reference voltage and at other input of these comparators we are providing the analog input and this is our sampled input so when our sampled input is 0.2 volt which is near to the voltage level 0 as we are having only 4 levels here in this case this d0 will be active and it will give output as 0 and 0 and when we have the sample point as 0.9 volt so it is near to the 1 volt so in this case this d1 will be active and this encoder will encode as 0 and 1 and when this sample point is 1.3 volt which is near to 1 volt in compared with this 2 volt so in this case also this d1 will be active and this encoder will give output as 0 and 1 and when we had sample point 1.8 volt so it is near to 2 volt and this comparator will give quantized level of 2 volt so this d2 will be active and it will give output as 1 and 0 similarly if we have sample point 2.1 so it is near to 2 volt so in this case also the quantized level will be 2 volt and d2 will be active for this and it will give output as 1 and 0 again and if we have sample point 3.1 which is close to 3 volt so d3 will be active and it will give output as 1 and 1 in this way with the help of these voltage dividers these competitors and with this priority encoder we can convert a analog signal to the digital one in the binary form so here so as a quick summary the sampled point comes here to the comparator and these comparators give the quantized level which is coming as input to this priority encoder and this priority encoder encode these inputs and give us the encoded value in the binary form so similar to this 2-bit resolution we can have analog to digital converter for n bit as well so for n bit resolution we need 2 to the power n minus 1 comparator which will give output for n number of bits so this is how a analog signal is converted to digital signal in the binary form this was the small explanation about analog to digital converter let me know if you have still any doubt for this topic or any other query. Thank you for watching this video.